So let's take a look at the first experimental study designed to test this idea of cognitive consistency. In Festinger and Carl Smith's 1959 study, they asked participants to perform two simple but tedious tasks for a total of one hour. For example, one of the tasks involved a tray full of pegs, and participants were asked to repeatedly turn each peg in order. Once they'd finished turning the last peg on the tray, they had to return to the first peg and turn it another quarter turn. After doing this, participants were told that the real purpose of the study was to look at the effects of expectations, or psychological set, on performance. The experimenter then explained that due to car troubles, his assistant was not able to make it to the study. The participants were asked if they would be willing to step in and take the place of the assistant and tell the next participant, who was a confederate, that the two tasks that they had just completed were actually enjoyable, fun and really interesting. A confederate is someone who pretends to be another participant, but in reality is working with the experimenter. Participants were either offered a small incentive, $1, or a large incentive, $20, to help the experimenter. For the control group, participants were not asked to say anything about the tedious tasks, and they weren't offered any money. After telling the confederate that the tasks were really enjoyable, the original participant left the study and went to complete a separate study in another room. For the separate study, participants were asked to rate how much they enjoyed participating in a number of different studies, including the one they had just completed. In reality, the two studies were actually part of the same experiment. So which group of participants do you think felt the most positive about doing the boring tasks? Those who were paid $20 to say that the tasks were fun, or those who are only paid $1.